we're going to change the rotor and check the brake caliper, see if it needs to be replaced. Okay, we got the truck jacked up. We're going to take the wheel off. First, we're going to take this hubcap off. Only four of these lugs are connected. Uh, probably hand tight, maybe a little, maybe more, but we'll take that hubcap off first. These lugs are one and one eighth. Okay, now we'll take the lugs off. The socket will be a 13 sixteenths. Now the wheel's ready to come off. I usually take my feet and put under the wheel, prop it up. Same way with this one, but you have to pull it out first. Okay, we're going to take this bolt out first. Now we're going to take this bolt out. Okay, now the caliper is ready to fall off. We'll have to take a screwdriver or a small pry bar and just kind of make it come out. See where the shoes tore up in there. Shoes still good. Okay, we checked our caliper. It actually has two cylinders on it, so we needed to get a C-clamp. We want to put the old brake shoe back in there. Take your C-clamp on that and start mashing it down. mash down here take that off and cylinders are pushed back in so that caliper's good now we got to take this bolt out and we have to take this bolt out okay we got our bracket off that holds our brake pads and our caliper now we're going to take these eight bolts out and what we're going to do is we're going to put a bucket underneath that so when we pull the axle out oil may come out of this uh, place right here so we're going to be careful and not get it all over the driveway. Okay, we got one more bolt to take out. These are 15 millimeter bolts. I'm going to pull the axle out. Got a little bit of oil dripping down here. Now we're going to take this special tool right here. It costs about $16 after tax. Half inch dry. Stick it right in here. I'm going to back this. Okay, we got the hub off. Now we got to take the rotor off. And we have a bunch of bolts inside here. Two, four, six, eight. They're probably 15 millimeter also. As you can see, despite the bucket, I got oil all over the place when I took the hub off. So I'll have to clean that up after I'm done. As you can see, 
and got all the bolts out of it. Now I'm going to have to persuade it with my uh, hammer to separate from the uh, from the hub, so I can put the new one on. New rotor. We've got our rotor on our hub. Now we're going to stack and stick our hub back on. Okay. Now we're going to put the bearings in it. We're going to put our little special nut back on there. I'm going to snug this down. Before I put the axle in, I'm going to put some silicone sealant on here to form as a gasket so that it don't leak. Okay, let's put the axle back on. Now we're going to put our brake pads on. Brake pads should slide right in. If they don't, there's an issue. You may have to grind down a little on each side with a grinder to get them to fit. You don't want to hammer them in with a hammer. Caliper's on, it's all bolted down nice and tight. Now we're going to uh, put the wheel back on it. Okay, there's that wheel. And I'll put the wheels on the same way I take them off with my feet. Okay, get that wheel in close enough. Bolt those down and then put the hubcap on. 